what is up what is good everybody welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning into easy tv once again yes 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 your boy's still kind of scruffy over here with all the hair and stuff but again i told you we're gonna get to that haircut as soon as i can i'm gonna get to the barbershop as soon as i can but not really within my control right now but i'm just saying man now that i'm wearing this shirt i just gotta mention that i heard people saying that uh the big day was better than acid rap <laughs> Get out of here. Anyway, today we got a new series I'm bringing with you guys, Easy Flips. Basically, I'm showing you guys what I'm reselling as I'm picking it up. Once I get enough new things in, I'm kind of showing you guys the trending things that are reselling for a somewhat amount of a money. Today, we've got three items with us, as you can see over here. If you want to find out why this simple candle from Target is reselling for money, then just keep watching. But yeah, guys, so I've got three items behind me, and we're going to get right into it, let you guys know you know how much I'm paying for them you know basically what the retail price is I pick these all up for the retail price how I got them where I got them what I'm selling them for so what the expected uh, profit you know what the expected revenue the margin all that things are so you guys can get a good idea of how to do this again I'm trying to illustrate how easy it is to be able to make some extra money during this unique period in time where I understand there's a lot of negatives going on in the world right now but there's also a lot of positive positive economic outcomes that you can take advantage of as well at the same time so First thing being first, I'm sure a lot of you, whether you've been actively reselling or not during this time period, know that Nintendo Switches have been skyrocketing in price. They were a lot higher about a month ago, but still they're worth a little more than their retail value. Of course, like most gaming consoles, retailing at that 300 price point. I'm probably going to move this locally because I don't want to have to pay fees. And this is an item with a high consumer demand with a broad market making it easier to move to a local audience so using facebook marketplace using a platform like offer up so retail for 300 i'm probably going to sell it at a 375 mark or something along that line that's going to be looking at right about 20 percent margin now i always talk about this in my sneaker videos and if i look down again as you guys know i have my ipad out to keep up with the numbers but i always talk about in my sneaker videos when i talk hold or sell about realizing your profit at a great margin and that's important here as well because you want to make sure that your money you invest as well as your time that you invest is worth it here. So these are still moving guys. I know they're not moving at the same price that they were about a month ago, but they're still moving. I caught this off of Amazon by the way. I just happened to snipe on a restock. They are kind of tough to get. Stay tuned to your Walmarts, your Targets, your Best Buys, your Amazons, or even in store to go take a look. I know with certain sites like Walmart and Target, you can sign up for an account with them and get alerts when they do restock of course you want to be quick with that but that's just more of a game of luck if you do hit that's an easy 75 bucks profit if you don't hit you don't hit whatever all right so the next things are weight plates now these specific ones i picked up at walmart i just woke up one morning decided i was going to go as soon as they open and make sure you guys check for the in your areas if they have senior hours or not so that way you're not waking up and then having to wait an extra hour because of the fact they're only allowing people who are senior citizens or have pre-existing conditions and things like that uh, due to unique circumstances of COVID. But do check for that. I went in there as soon as I could, went straight to the weight section and bought all the weight plates that I had. I only have two left. Day of, I bought six sets of this. So a total of 12 five pound weight plates, which is the ones I have right here. And then three sets of the 10 pound weight plates. I literally moved all of them except for this one set by the end of the day, I moved most of them through Facebook Marketplace. The five pounders, these cost me a little under seven bucks or a little over seven bucks, I think around 750, pretty cheap. And I'm moving them all day on Facebook Marketplace for 25, 30 bucks. Even at 25 bucks, that's just under a 70% margin. That's huge, that's a great margin. You guys can pick up weight plates in store and sell them locally so you're not having to pay for shipping or fees. This is a great move. Of course, I'm sure a lot of you know that weights have been moving like crazy. Dumbbells, five pounds and greater also move pretty well. I moved one, a, a pair of 10 pound dumbbells recently that I got off of Amazon, but these are straight from Walmart. Uh, you can find them on Amazon as well when they restock. I did move four of these on eBay. Now I will say if you're gonna sell weight plates online, especially if you're selling the five pounders, make sure that if you're selling the five pounders, you're putting at least two sets together in one listing. Uh, it's just to make it so that the, the price is big enough there that your shipping isn't costing too much. Now, best way to ship heavy items on eBay is to use, in my opinion, 
USPS uh, flat rate. Basically, if you use their boxes, which they'll actually send to you for free, you have to use their boxes and if it fits, basically it ships under about, I think 70 or 80 pounds, which you'll be well under. For all the heavy stuff, you do want to use flat rate shipping. And that costs about 15 bucks for a medium flat rate box, which, which is what I package two sets of these in. Definitely, you know, take a look at your local areas. People obviously are really looking for weights now. As places start to open up more and gyms start to open up, these are gonna go down in the market price. However, I still see it sold out all the time. So if those are sold out there, it should tell you that there is a demand for them still. There is a market for them. So be on the lookout for weight plates. Five pounders, 10 pounders, 25 pounders sell good as well. I haven't really messed with anything over 25 pounds. Even if I sell these at a dollar a pound, 10 bucks, I'm still making a profit, although obviously not a great profit at all. But that's just to show you that even at a dollar a pound, I'm making profit on this. I did sell two pairs of these to a customer who was already buying my 25 pound weight plates and a pair of my 10 pound weight plates. So I threw in a couple extra pairs of five pound weight plates only for a dollar a pound since he was already expending over $120 with me. This is a product you can move super quick if you really want to. All right, so here's the big, big item of the video, at least as far as something new, something different that you guys maybe don't know about. And so this is a candle from Target. It's your standard little candle from Target. Retails for 15 bucks. I think it's an eight ounce, yeah, 8.2 ounce soy blend candle. I don't know much about candles, but I do know that this one's worth money. You know, I'll just show you guys, you know, got the little like glass, little topper thing. 15 bucks usually at Target. Through Target's uh, store brand, which is like Threshold or something like that. This has been selling out. It's a cashmere vanilla. And listen, I smell it. I smell it. I, mean, I smelled it right when it came. I'll smell it again. I don't find it that amazing. I, it's like almost every other candle I've ever smelled in my life before. But people are saying this smells like Harry Styles. And I'm not no Harry Styles, One Direction, Wendy, all that. No, I'm not, I'm not on that. But I am on making some money. I am on the resale wave. So people are saying this smells like Harry Styles. You know what? I don't really care. But if people care, that's good for me. And so that's why I care. This is retail for 50 bucks. I sniped it off of restock on Target's website. Uh, plus shipping which was like six bucks it came out to right over 20 bucks I've been seeing this move online on eBay and other platforms for right around 35 to 40 bucks That's about a 40% margin now. We'll see how it actually moves I've been hearing some people say these are moving slow for them. Some people say they're moving super well I'm not a Harry Styles friend. I'm not a candle a guru or whatever it may be but just from some simple research online and doing um, my usual reading I was able to find that out so I'm letting you guys know how easy it is to start doing this right and now obviously some of it comes down to luck as far as getting stuff when they restock online like this or the, or the Nintendo but for example things like the weights that's just because I decided unlike everybody else to sleep in I decided that day yuck, I was gonna wake up early at like 7 a.m. to make it happen well I actually stood up the whole night but it's only because my sleep schedule is all messed up but you get the idea so you know some of these things are luck and you know knowing your knowledge is for something like this this is a constant item that you're just gonna have to maybe get lucky with as far as restocking online or in-store. But again, hard work pays off and so definitely go look for these items. Now I know I only had three items for you guys to get today, but I thought I'd start off this series by just putting up a first video, seeing what you guys like. I have seen people in my comment section, especially my last video, when I talked about how I was flipping some stuff on eBay, people wanted to know how do I find what I buy, what am I buying, and so this is a way to do that. And I think it's a great opportunity to also talk about it in the comments below. What's selling for you guys? What's not? Of course, there are plenty of other items that are selling very well right now as well. You know, trampolines, above ground pools. Those of you who just heard that and kind of got surprised, I'd love to do a video on in the future if I can get my hands on them. I haven't had any luck as far as getting those items for myself. But there are plenty of other items that are also moving for a good amount of money that aren't the ones in front of you and that maybe are lesser known. But... Letting you guys know that the resale market is huge right now, it's booming, and there's plenty of opportunity. But if you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up, it goes a long way. Leave a comment below, let me know what you guys are selling, if you're just getting into the game, if you're not, what, what the case may be. And for now guys, just take it easy.